Hey guys, lobster season is coming up this month. It starts September 30th. And as far as the official start time on September 30th, I'm gonna send you the fishing game regulations for the state of California so you can go check it. Cause uh, there's been reports, one's at midnight, one's early morning. I'm not gonna tell you which one's official. So go to the website and find out. But standing next to me is Ed from Promar. And we wanna talk a little bit about the upcoming season and some of the things that Promar has that you should have when you go out on your own boat or if you're gonna go lobster fishing from piers. I'm hearing from quite a few guys that go lobster fishing from piers. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. A lot of guys are fishing on the, on the piers, yeah. using the lobster net, and they're getting, doing really good. Now on a so, pier, what's the limit? Two hoop nets? I believe it's one or two. One or don't, two? Don't, yeah. You have to go check yeah. the regulations. Check the regulations <laughs> to be safe, yes. Okay, yeah. and other than the hoop net, like this is one of your hoop nets, what makes this so unique than what's out there in the market? Well, this one's rigid. Um, you can stack them really good. Mm. Um, they hold up the best. They, they are very strong, and uh, it's, it's just a great net. And right? they're That's, all pre-rig, which is nice. They're all pre-rig, yes. All right, cool. And what else should they know? Well, they should know about the GoID number. They need to have this on the buoys for, for, reg, for regulations now this year. Um, yeah, that's a brand new thing. So every um, hoop net that goes in the water, your buoy has to have your license go ID number on there. And everyone that's on the, any hoop net that goes in the water has to have a license on there. Remember, you can only have five in your name if you're an individual on a boat. So whoever else is on with you on the boat, they have to have an ID on there. And all 10 hoop nets, that's the most number of hoop nets you can have on any one vessel. I don't care if it's a 10 foot dinghy or the Queen Mary. You can only have 10 hoop nets right. in your possession at any one time. And each one of those, again, has to have that Go ID number. And uh, it's mandatory this year. It's a brand new rule. Also, keep in mind, you guys want to keep lights on your buoys so people don't run over your gear, lose your gear, or no one gets in danger uh, out there when you're lobstering. Because you could easily run over one of these and wrap it on your prop, end up on the break wall. Um, it's not a good thing. So you want to keep lights on them. Either use your uh, regular uh, glow stick or a blinking LED. Um, these work great because you can use them all year long, usually last the whole season. So you're not buying so many of these, but uh, they work great. And that, the, the blinking light, the LED light. Yes. Uh, this is made by Promar. Yes, it's made by Promar, yes. And once you give them that one little tip you explained Okay, to me yeah, earlier. my tip, uh, I'd recommend you guys, What's great about this is it, it has two modes. It has a solid light, which uh, it would be bright, also bright white light. And then also that way when you're fishing, when you're dropping your hoop nets, you know which one you pulled already. So usually my first set, it's solid. And then when I go and re-pull the second pull, I'll set it in blinking mode. So you can tell which one you haven't pulled. So you're not, you know, pulling your nets too early. Yeah, okay? pulling the same net twice. Yes. All right, cool. And then uh, bait cages is an important part, and Promar has several different bait cages, and each one's designed for a certain situation. Can you explain that really quick? Ed? Sure. For uh, we've got three types here. Um, for shallow water, you want to use your standard bait cage. Now, but if you have seals around, okay, these work great. But if you have seals around, they're just going to take all your bait out. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you have if you have seals around. They will literally take everything out of this, but then we also have the seal cage. This is great. This thing, they will not touch it. They, they, once they see it, they'll go down and look at it, and uh, they, they don't want anything to do with it. They, they can't get the, to the bait, so and they're really easy to fill. They work really good. They're easy to take, break down, and then get rid of your bait when you're done, and the seals will leave you alone. I like the clamps on it, too. It makes it easier yes. to put it in the hoop net. Yeah, you can easily take it take it off your hoop net and uh, apply it really easy too. And what's the last one? And then the last one I recommend is this one here, the cylinder bait cage for deep water. 100 feet or more, you'd wanna use this guy here because uh, it'll retain more of the scent. Because on the way down, this one here, you're gonna lose a lot of bait and also scent because of the current on the way down. Because these are gonna be weighted when you go deep. So you tend to lose more scent and more flavor out of it. So this one here will retain it more and the, the lobsters will stick to your net more than uh, once the bait's gone, they leave. So keep that in mind. This is a great item right here for your deep water. Cool. 
And any predictions for the season this year? Should be a great season. Guys are seeing a lot of lobster down there already, you know, divers. The divers and the stuff. divers see them, so there, there should be a great year. Yeah, I remember lobster season doesn't start till the 30th of September, but uh, it's coming really quick. Normally, it starts the first couple of weeks of October. This year, it's a little bit sooner. So check the regulations before you go out there and start lobster fishing. Make sure that you have your California fishing license and a lobster card and you have to have one of these. Lobster gauge for every person on the boat, okay? And what's nice about the lobster gauge, it works for lobsters and it also works great for crabs. All right, cool. Well, thanks, Ed, for helping us out. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. And for more information, you can always call us here at the office or ask me a question down below. I'd be glad to help you. To see all these products, go to the Promar website. And what's that at? You can see all these products on promarnets.com. All right, Ed, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.